Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm about to make this one super quick. I got a cab on the way. I got a flight to catch. So check this out. We're talking about Hashimoto's thyroiditis. There are a lot of people out there who have thyroid issues, and they're taking thyroid medication, but that's not really fixing the root cause of their issue. Most people in the Western world who have hypothyroid actually have something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's an autoimmune issue, and the body is actually destroying the thyroid tissue. But if you're just taking medication, you're not doing anything about that destruction. You're not doing anything about the immune system at all. So check this out. This is how it works. So you're kind of familiar with this. Uh, when the body senses that it needs to produce more thyroid hormone, the hypothalamus, which is in the brain, produces something called thyroid releasing hormone. That's going to go to the pituitary, which is a gland in the skull, and that pituitary in turn is going to make something called thyroid stimulating hormone. So that thyroid stimulating hormone is going to come down to the thyroid, and the thyroid is going to produce T4 and T3, which is your inactive and that's your active hormone right here. Now here's the problem. Again, the doctor gets you on medication. The reason why is because your T4, since it might be down, make sure TSH go up. So the body says, whoa, we don't have enough T4 going on. So you kind of have a feedback net mechanism and that TH TSH goes way up and the doctor says, oh, you've got hypothyroid, here's your medication. However, something else may be going on. With Hashimoto's, the thyroid tissue is being destroyed. And so, of course, if the thyroid tissue is being destroyed, you're going to have not only hypothyroid issues, but at the same time, you, you can be having symptoms of hyperthyroid, which we're going to have to talk about on another day. So, how do you find out if you have Hashimoto's? You can do a test, a couple tests. There's TPO antibodies, which means that your body is fighting off TPO. And there are TGB antibodies, which means your body's fighting off TGB. Now, what are TPO? What is TGB? TGB is a protein that's stored in, it's called a thyroglobulin. It's stored in your thyroid. Also, it's produced by your thyroid. And what happens is TPO is an enzyme that allows that TGB protein to bind with a particular number of iodines. So if it's three iodines going on here with the TGB, you make T3, active thyroid hormone. If it's four iodines going on there, you make T4, which is the inactive thyroid hormone. And so that TPO is critical. So what you're looking for with the TPO antibody test is, is this TPO being destroyed? Is your body breaking down this enzyme and destroying it and keeping this from happening? And then you're going to keep this from happening. Then that T4 goes low and this starts really producing too much TSH. Again, it's not a medication issue. Of course, medication can be helpful for a lot of people, but at the same time, you have to get down to the autoimmune disorder. And so check this out. One more thing. You can also be fighting off this TGB. So if your body is producing antibodies to this TGB, you've got a problem. You've got the same cycle. So make sure if you have hypothyroidism that you are asking your doctor, hey, doc, can I get a TGB antibody test? Can I get a TPO antibody test? Get those because that's really going to get down to the root cause. Um, real quickly, most people who have Hashimoto's have some type of gluten sensitivity. As a general rule, if you do have Hashimoto's, you should stop eating gluten because one of the things that can trigger your um, Hashimoto's is going to be molecular mimicry, case of mistaken identity. So if your body is fighting off gluten, then what can happen is your thyroid tissue has a very similar molecular construction as gluten. So the body goes, well, we've been fighting off this gluten. Oh, that thyroid really looks like that, gl that gluten molecule. Let's go ahead and fight that off too. So if you keep eating gluten, you're going to keep stimulating that immune response. Number two, there are a lot of people out there who are taking tons of iodine to help their thyroid. That can be a bad thing if you have Hashimoto's. The reason why is because iodine is going to crank up that TPO enzyme. So if you have a lot of that TPO enzyme and you have TPO antibodies, your body's going to start fighting off that TPO, which you're getting extra from through your iodine consumption, okay, or your iodine supplement use. And then boom, you've got breakdown here, you've got destruction here, and then your thyroid's going to get worse. And so as a, you know, people say, hey, just keep using iodine, it's going to fix your thyroid. No, that's not true. If you have Hashimoto's, it can initiate it. So...
I've talked too much already. That wasn't as great as I like them to be, but I had to do it real fast. I will catch you guys next week, actually on Friday. I'll be back with a Friday fun day video. Again, I'm out of town. Read the book. Why do I still have thyroid symptoms when my lab tests are normal by Dr. Karazian? Uh, check out our radio show. I'm going to put the link down there in the comments box. I'm out of here. got to go. Peace.